I think Chantel Cameron's going to win that fight. Yeah. yeah. Why? What do you pull out now? I just think Chantel Cameron, she's bigger, she's fast as well, she's got great combination, she mixes it up, up and down, I think she has a lot more variety to her punches, and uh, she's really, really hungry. A really good fight, look at, and, and obviously I know Chantel Cameron from being in the CMJ Mazer, and I'm friends with both of them. Um, what, I, what I will say is you have to give Katie Killer a lot of credit for taking this fight, because she could have sat, she could have fought anybody in Ireland and it would have been a sellout, and waited on the Amanda Serrano fight, but she decided to go up a division against the best female in the division above. It's a tough fight to call. Hard, hard fight for Katie Taylor. Also a hard fight for Chantel Cameron. Um, but you have to give Katie so much credit for, for actually taking this. I don't think she needed to. I think Katie fights to her level. I think the better the challenge, the better she is. And no better challenge uh, or challenge than, than Chantel Cameron. I think it's the hardest fight that could be made for both. Cameron's younger and bigger, has a good engine, and everyone says the same thing. But well, she can box as well, she has good footwork and a good jab. But she's also coming to Katie's backyard, into the Cauldron 3 Arena. It'll be an atmosphere like, I don't think any of us will have experienced what, what's going to happen on Saturday night. It's going to be next level. Even more than New York when she fought Serrano. I think this is going to be a special night on Saturday. I think Katie will rise to it. If she can box smart, she can win it, win the fight well. But I know she likes to get stuck in and have a good go of it. So she'll have to come through some trouble, I think. And it'll be a close win for Katie, I think. That fight is that good. I can't even have an opinion on it, honestly. Like, no, I think... Um, Obviously, massive respect to both fighters. Katie's an all-time great yeah. um, in her own right. And then you see Chantal Cameron, and she's absolutely relentless. Um, so I think it's, it's an unbelievable fight. It's one that I'm really excited for. I can't pick a winner. Um, and normally, I, like, I, I, I would pick someone. Don't sit on the fence. You I'm must you must prefer. I'm sitting on the fence. So I, I'm generally excited for the fight that it comes from that like that's why I'm excited so much for the fight because yeah, I don't, yeah. I can't, I can't see what's going to happen. Does she beat Chantel Cameron? I believe so. I'm a massive Katie fan, so I'm going to be a bit biased here. I've followed her, her whole, my whole career, her career since amateur days. So I just believe no matter who's put in front of Katie, I think she finds a way. As she's shown with, with someone like Serrano, do you know what I mean? Who's dangerous? Who can hit hard? Who will trouble you? And she still found a way. So. I just believe Katie's superior boxing skills, her IQ, her hand speed, that pop she has in her, in her shots is going to trouble anybody on, on, on the night. I think she wins. Yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting. I think it'll definitely be Katie's hardest fight, um, especially because she's moving up. Um, Chantel, as we all know, is a hard hitter. She, she hits hard, she's strong and tenacious. So I think it's going to be a really exciting fight. Um, it's a 50-50 one. Oh my god, when I saw Katie put a post on about it and Chantel share it, I was like, because I wanted to go when it was Serrano and Katie, and now it's, if, if it's going to be Chantel and Katie, I was like, I don't care when we're fighting, we're going, we're going watching it, we're getting on it in Ireland and we're going watching it, um, but no, that will be an unbelievable fight, I've sparred Chantel, um, Katie asked me for sparring, and then that was when I embarrassed myself in front of her, and I was like, fuck off, and they were like, Rihanna tells Katie Taylor to fuck off, and I was like, no, it wasn't at her, it was at her asking me to spar because I didn't think she want to spar me. Um, but no, yeah, Chantelle is non-stop. Like, you know, she's got an engine on her. And then so is Katie, you saw her in the um, Serrano fight. So that would be an unbelievable fight. That would be miss. I know obviously you're going to be relatively impartial, but I able to get some sort of prediction from you. And obviously you've got a better relationship, I'd say, with obviously Chantelle because you sparred her. But if you were to put your, your hat in which corner, where would it be? See, I'm really bad at stuff like this, so no one ever... You don't want to jinx it, essentially, is that what you mean? No one ever listens to my bets as well, because I'm like, oh, I'm going this round. What did I do the other day? A sky card. I was like, yeah, they're all going to be knockouts. Put knockout for every single one. <laughs> no knockouts. So I lost all my money there, so I vowed never to bet again. <laughs> oh, it's a hard one. It's a really, really, really hard one. Obviously, I look up to Katie massively. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's like the icon of female mm -hmm. boxing. But Chantel's like my girl. Like, she's like a... That the English lady, you know, like, ah, oh, it's such a such a such a difficult one. Um, the best women win on the night. Yeah. But I can't pick and choose. In my opinion, I think it's going to be razor sharp, close. But I do think Katie does the business, you know what I mean. But like I said, it's going to be an absolute barnstorm of a fight. Two of them are amazing fighters in their own right, you know. 
Yeah, I think that's going to be a really good fight. I think um, Cameron is very good at at staying on the outside and using her her range and her distance, throwing you know straight punches down the middle. She's very good at that. But I feel like Katie Taylor, Katie Taylor is um, her her punch output is just going to be too much. And I feel like um, she she comes wide, she comes around. So I think that's yeah. where she's going to be able to to capitalize on um, Cameron just staying straight down the middle and uh, standing up straight. Um, so, so yeah, I think, uh, Katie's going to be a, maybe a little bit too, too busy and, and, and yeah. too many punches.